guys welcome to taste to explore my name is Darlene and today my friends I am so thrilled we are going to make a coconut flung super delicious super easy and they are the best of both worlds if you love coconut flavor and you love flung and you put them together and it's just a dynamite now I have some shortcuts here today the only shortcut is I didn't make this I didn't actually prepare this recipe for real coconut milk which you know it, that would be dynamite if you have some on hand definitely use it instead of the store-bought can coconut milk which that's what I am improvising with but if you need a recipe on how to make coconut milk I do have it in my channel and I will leave you the link down below that's it so now my friends let's walk over to the ingredients super easy super simple now let's get right to it all right guys now let's begin now right here I have one cup of sugar and right here my friends I have five jumbo eggs now I didn't use the large or the medium because then I will have to put more eggs in there this has a better volume in a sense so with five it will actually equal out to like if you were to put like six or seven in the of medium eggs so the jumbo is what I'm using today and right here I have one can of, one can of sweet condensed milk and one can of coconut milk and right here I have uh, vanilla extract which I'm going to use a splash of and now let's begin all right guys so right here using a small saucepan and one of my favorite old saucepans when it comes down to making caramel sauce so I prefer to get the old stuff and right now I'm just going to put one cup of granulated sugar and this is going to help us create our homemade caramel. All right, guys, so make sure that your stove is on a low setting because if you put it too high, you're going to risk burning your sugar. And then you're going to have to start all over again. So you see how I'm just moving it back and forth, making sure it's not staying in one side for too long. You're going to risk burning your sugar, and you don't want that. So very gently, just stir, have some patience, and soon we will have some caramel for our flan. All right, guys, now look at it, nice and golden brown. That's exactly what you want. Just be patient and we got it. So now let's work quickly because it, it can burn real fast. I have a cake pan that is nine inches, and I have like... Um, a kitchen towel right under it so I don't scorch my table please be careful with your table or wherever you want to lay this at because this is super hot and I don't want your stuff to get messed up so right now we're just gonna pour it in quickly we gotta work quickly this will get hard and then it will be pretty much useless at that point because it, it, it will be no turning back it looks like a nice delicious amber color like a syrup do not feel tempted to try to taste it because you can get burned and yeah it could be really serious so once you put it in your pan just turn it making sure that all sides are covered and at this point it's okay if it gets hard is in the pan it's perfect at this point. all right guys so, so in this next step i'm going to be using my blender if you have a handheld blender perfect it just needs to be really well mixed together and what other way to do that besides using um a blender you can use a handheld blender as well so whichever floats your boat so right now we're going to put in the whole eggs and no particular order everything goes in really simple delicious flavorful super easy and I can't 
can't wait to get this a try. All right, so don't forget in the description that. box below, I will be putting in all the ingredients and the measurements. So don't you worry if you didn't hear me say how many ounces are these cans and whatnot. But it's really simple. And I didn't want to have to make this video super long. So perfect for that. And a little splash of vanilla extract. And then that's it. Just a little splash. That's it. Super easy and it's done. Alright, now let's blend. Alright guys, so at this moment, I'm just going to let you know that I have my 9 inch pan that, as you can see, we had made the caramel sauce. And then I had a, I have another larger pan. Now, this is another old time favorite pan that I use like a billion quadrillion times. So don't mind my worn out look of my pan now uh what we're gonna do is i'm gonna fill the batter inside here but when i put this in the oven i'm gonna start to fill warm tap water right in here now i just gonna want to put the water maybe two-thirds of a way you know, not too high, not too overly high, and definitely not too little because you don't want it to uh, dry out when it's in the oven. Because this is gonna bake for one hour. So right now I'm gonna pour in my batter in here, and it's okay if you hear the little crack. That's perfect. And you're gonna fill it pretty much all the way through. It's fine. You see how it has a nice golden brown color to it and it only baked for one hour. Now with a spatula or a knife, just go around the edges just to make sure you loosen it so it doesn't get stuck all around, which I already did already. Now I had this cooled off on top of the stove for one hour. Then I have placed it in the refrigerator for three hours or preferably overnight. So do not cut it right away because it needs to firm up. So when you do cut into it, it's a nice thick piece. If not, it's going to break apart. And I warn you about that. So now just take another uh, plate where you're going to serve this from. And we're going to invert it upside down real quick. Here we go. And let's see our masterpiece. Dun, 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 dun. Look how gorgeous this is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wow. It looks divine. Now, I have some sweetened coconut this flakes. This is certainly optional. I didn't toast it. I want that white coconut look to it but if you want you can toast it this is sweet and like I said and I'm just gonna sprinkle lightly above and I know someone's gonna fall down because of the caramel sauce that we have on top and then that's it my this friends. is done and it's ready to be devoured now let's do a taste test Okay guys, so now it's time for a taste test and I cannot So the key wait. thing is once you bake it, you allow it to cool down a little bit on top of your stove for an hour and then you put it in the refrigerator for up to three hours or preferably overnight. Because like I told you before, if you were to cut into it early, it's going to fall apart and you don't want that. So now let's give it a taste test. Wow, absolutely sensational. This, my friends, you definitely gotta give it a try. So creamy, and it's not overly sweet, because we didn't add no extra sugar. And it has like a, like a coconut hint to it, so it's not overpowering. And it's just so, so, so good. Mm, 
mm, mm, mm. delightful. I can just imagine if I were to make this with fresh coconut milk, how much more pleasing that would be. Either way, if you want to use fresh coconut milk or substitute it with the can, it's still going to be such a marvelous, marvelous dessert. So thank you so much for joining me in my kitchen today. It's always a pleasure of having you cook along with me. So give this a try. It's pretty easy. It's delicious. It's going to go quickly. So I guarantee you. By tonight, this is going to be gone. My kids are going to devour Make it. Make this give and it a try. Um, I do have social media. So please come and follow me on uh, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. I'm going to leave the links below. I'm going to leave the uh, ingredients to this recipe below. And I will love to hear from so next time, my friends. Friends. Be blessed. And I will see you you again and if you have any uh, recipes that you want me to make leave me a comment below and let me know so i see you again take care bye bye